Hey, what's going on, you guys? ADI here. Uh, this is my first haul video of 2018. Um, don't have a ton of books, but uh, um, really happy with what I picked up and like to show y'all. Um, obviously, this here is not a comic book, um, but I do collect vinyl records, um, and I add one or two here from time to time. Um, and I picked up uh, Conan the Destroyer. Um, I'm a big fan of soundtracks. Um, and this is a super nice copy. This is the original uh, pressing from 1984. Um, really, really nice shape. Um, love Conan the Barbarian. That's the next one on my list of uh, records to pick up. Conan the Barbarian, uh, that was from the LPs from 82. And then I got Conan the Destroyer, um, which they're just great. They're awesome movies. I love them. And uh, really, really love the music in them. And uh, so, yeah, I had to pick that up. Um, I'm thinking of doing a kind of a showcase of um, my record collection of, of my soundtracks. Um, I think it'd be a, a lot of fun. Um, I don't have a ton of them, but you know, something that I, I really enjoy collecting. So I'll uh, probably do that in the future. As far as the books go, um, I got a couple dollar, dollar pickups. Um, went to my LCS yesterday and uh, just picked up a couple of books. Um, I hadn't been there in, I don't know, five months or something like that. And it's a shop I really like. And it, so I had to had to pick up a few things. Um, World War Hulk. It's a Marvel Spotlight. Um, you know, for a buck, I thought it'd be a fun read. Had a cool cover, and it's just kind of all World War Hulk. So you know, for a buck, pretty happy to pick that up. Um, the other dollar book I got was uh, Max Number One. I remember when this came out when I was younger. Uh, really like Sam Keith's artwork, and uh, again, it's in really nice shape. Um, but uh, figured I'd uh, pick it up and be a, be a good read. It'd be fun to kind of go back into that. Um, and then the rest of these books, um, uh, let's get on with them. So I picked up another copy of Master of Kung Fu, uh, the, the Marvel Special Edition number 15. This is definitely a lower grade than, uh, than the other copy that I have. Um, it's actually not bad overall. I'd probably say that it's probably like in the, I don't know, six to seven range. It does have some spine ticks. Um, it, you know, it's, it's not, it's gloss, it has gloss, but it's not super glossy. Um, and there's a couple of little issues inside, like with uh, some of the pages. Um, but I got this for eight bucks. So, you know, my other one's definitely more like a nine, nine, two, maybe with a press higher, but you know, this one, I couldn't pass it up for, you know, for $8 in, in a book that's really, you know, an awesome first appearance and, uh, and a book that's in pretty decent shape. So pretty happy with that. Um, and then I also, um, as many of you know, I've been picking up, uh, working on my Daredevil run. So I've got a bunch of Daredevil books. So I picked up uh, number 57, this one here, kind of show you that. Um, this one's uh, in pretty decent shape, actually. It's not too bad. It definitely fits into the kind of the very fine range or better that I'm looking for. Um, there are some spine ticks on it. Um, you know, the corners aren't super sharp, um, but but it works. I mean, it's a nice, it's a pretty nice copy. Can't really complain about that. Um, really nice, uh, really nice Gene Cullen cover. I like the purples in the background. One that I didn't have, so. Happy to knock that one off the list. Um, and then I also picked up number 56, uh, which is the first appearance of Death's Head. And this one here, I love this cover. It's such a great cover, and I love the color on it. It's just, it, it just really, it really pops. Just like that red, reddish, <clears throat> excuse me, reddish brown, kind of with the yellow down here. <clears throat> this one's not in super, it's not in great shape. Um, I mean, it does have its issues. Um, you know, it's got... A couple light little creases there. It's got more spine ticks than than I would want. It's kind of hard to tell on here, but and it does have a little bit of you know some of gloss missing in certain spots. A little kind of issue up there at the top. Um, you know, got a, it's got kind of a, a crease up here in the corner. Um, but overall, you know, it's uh, one that I could potentially upgrade at some point in the future. Um, but uh, you know. Um, Happy to knock it off the list, and especially when you get them for good prices. You know, I, I, that's kind of how I feel with my runs too. <clears throat> in the in the run that I have, you know, there's definitely books I'd like to upgrade. But when I can find a book, you know, and kind of fill a gap 
you know, and it might be a lower grade than, than what I'm looking for, but it's at a good price, like I'll fill it, you know, and might as well do that. And, uh, and then you always come back and, you know, um, upgrade it later on. <clears throat> um, next one here, I got uh, number 50. Uh, this is a Barry Windsor Smith, uh, Gene Colon and Ramita cover. I'm really happy to pick this one up. This one's in pretty, pretty solid shape. Um, it does have, you know, it's, it, it definitely fits the very fine range um, that I'm looking for. It's got good centering, doesn't have a lot of spine ticks. It's got good gloss on it still, you know, no huge creases or anything like that. Um, you know, when it comes to like little, with creases and things like that, you know, if it's, even if it's color breaking and it's minor, um, you know, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm happy to have that in my collection for sure. And, uh, you know, really nice, gorgeous cover and great color, love the blues. And uh, happy to pick that one up. Uh, this next one here, number 46, uh, another uh, Gene Colon cover. Um, this is actually an upgrade copy. I already have this book. Uh, but the other one that I have had like some writing on it. It's got tons of spine ticks. It's got creasing down in the bottom. Um, but uh, this is a really nice, really nice upgrade for me. Um, really happy to pick it up. It's really clean. Um, it's got it's got solid centering. Um, got really nice gloss you know it's got off white white pages just really clean book really clean book and I'm super happy to pick that one up uh, next one I have here number 47 another Gene Cohen cover um, and uh, this is one that I didn't have yet so happy to mark this one off the off the list and this is probably another it's it fits right in the very fine range um, you know it's got good centering you know, this, this corner up here is a, you know, it's not perfect. It's got a little kind of blunting or wear up there. Um, overall, really nice. And the nice thing about this one, which I'm really happy about, is it's got a stamp on the bottom. So October 2nd, 1968. thought that was pretty slick. Every time I see books, especially ones I don't have or if it's an upgrade copy or whatever, and it's got these those date stamps on them, I, I pick them up. It was something that I used to not go for. Um, but I do now, and I really, I, I like it. I, I think it just adds, it adds some like some history to, you know, to the book that I, that I think that I find really attractive when it comes to the books. Uh, this next one here, this is this is a the second copy of this, um, and I picked up number thirteen, and this is Jack Kirby cover. I really love the colors on this cover. I love everything about this book. I love it. Um, so it, it, I have two copies of it now. And it's definitely a book that I think I would continue to pick up copies if I found them in nice shape at good prices. This one was definitely a good price, and it's in really nice shape. This might actually be an upgrade to the one that I have. It does have one major flaw, and that's kind of down here on the corner. Um, you can kind of see it there. It doesn't go through to the other pages. It's just on the cover. Um, but look at this thing. Look at it. I mean, it's, it's super clean. It's got a little bit of damage there. I mean, there's no major creases, and the one thing that really stood out to me about this book that I loved is it does have a date stamp, and it's in red, and December 7th, 1965, and it goes perfect with all the red on the cover. I mean, I saw this, and I was like, no way, that is like, that is so perfect. I mean, it's not a black stamp, it's not a blue stamp, it's a freaking red stamp up with so much beautiful red color on that cover. And I got a, like I said, I got a really good price on it. I just could not pass this up. I saw it and was like, I got to have that thing. And that stamp was just like, I mean, that was like icing on the cake. I thought that was just awesome. Um, and I got two books left here. Um, and this is one that I didn't have. And it's actually a book that's on my 2018 want list. So I'm really happy to pick it up. Um, and that is Daredevil number 52. Really nice shape copy, probably in like the nine, probably the nine range with cleans presses could be nine two, um, maybe better. Um, so the thing about this is I had one coming in the mail, and then when I went to my LCS yesterday, um, they also had one. So I had to pick, I had to pick them up, and they, they're like almost identical books, as as far as condition goes. Like look here, I'll show you, I'll show you this one. I mean, you look at the you look at the the corners and the spine and the edges. They're both like super high gloss. It's like perfect centering. It's like really almost like no spine ticks. 
I mean, these might even be nice forwards with a cleaning press. That corner there. I mean, just nice white covers. And that corner up there is super crispy. You know, Barry Windsor Smith, Black Panther appearance. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And then here's the, the second one. And when I saw the one at the at my LCS, I was like, gosh, that thing looks almost just as good as the other one that I have or that I that I have coming in the mail. So I've got two of these. So there's a little bit of wear, like right on the black line on the spine. But they're like almost they're almost identical. I mean, just super clean. Um, you know, there's a little bit of kind of uh, dirt kind of ish on the back that but that can be cleaned up and you know these can be pressed and i was i mean for the for what i got them for i was stoked i was just like i couldn't believe that i got two of them and they were so centered i mean i've been looking for this books i mean really you know since last year and it seems like everything that i found it was always like a miswrap you know it wasn't centered or there was ink there was like marker on it or writing on it or it was like just dirty so i was just i was stoked i was really stoked to uh to pick this one up it's it's on my 2018 want list um, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark that off actually let's do so there it is right there so that's my first so my first haul of uh, 2018 and uh, and I knocked off a book off of my list and uh, I knocked a book off of my daredevil run list um, so yeah so that's my haul you guys I hope you all enjoy um, I definitely will have more to come. I'm working on a, um, a haul for, uh, um, for February. Um, so I'll continue to knock out Daredevil books and try to get some of these 2018 uh, want lists knocked off. But uh, thanks for uh, watching, and y'all stay awesome. All right, cheers.